Okay, making headlines today is the story of a 28-year-old businesswoman who's put her eggs up for sale on the internet to help repay her student loans. Marge Khan posted her details on a classified ads website with the hope that a couple in need of a child would pay her £4,500 for the donation without realising that it is in fact illegal in Britain to be paid for egg donation. Now, while she can no longer go through with the potential sale, her story has raised the question as to whether or not egg donors should be given cash incentives. Now, according to reports today, Fertility Watchdog, the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority, has said that it's reviewing its policy after conceding that a chronic shortage of eggs in the UK means that couples may have to go abroad in a quest to start their own families. But is it time to change the law? so that donors can charge for their eggs, do you think? Well, we are a country that, that you know, don't, and we've got a shortage here. Um, we've got sperm donors, we've got egg donors all over the world. America, there's no shortage at all because they get paid for it. And as someone who's, who's never really wanted my eggs, somebody, if somebody had wanted them, I'd have said, here's half a dozen. You know? <laughs> sure. That's not being flippant about it. That's... You know, that's just but that I've never you used have to it. But an operation yeah, in order to exactly. To it's quite painful. Them. So I, I, I think you should be paid for it. I, I think, uh, you know, you are having to go into hospital and have this done. So why not be paid but for it? But I think it? there's a big difference, is there not, between having your expenses covered and profiting from, well, from an exchange. Well, no, because you're events. giving something to someone else that you don't have to do that. So what price life then, Jane? Well, what's, what, 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 what price would you put on it? Whatever Actually, price they if, put on I'll it, tell you something, Linda. If, you're, if you really do want a child, then it's priceless. So that's what I mean. If you can help someone, like, like I said, I've never had children, but I've had eggs. And if somebody uh, was wanting, you would give them such a fantastic life because it's the child they'd always wanted. Mm, morally, I think, I, I, I think it's, morally, I think it's wrong. I think the whole thing, the whole business of paying for babies, I think, is wrong. And when you think about it, men already get paid, don't they? Men get paid mm -hmm. for sperm they donation. They get expenses. Yeah. Well, you know, it's still, there's still money involved in, you know, trying to create human beings outside of human beings. You know? I and I know, I know, I'm with Jane, I, I don't want children, I've never wanted mm -hmm. them. So I don't know what that feels like to really desperately want your own baby either and who would have who knows what you know what would have happened had I uh, had I felt differently I probably would have had to pay for for it but you know deep down inside I think that it's too much of a big business already you know people too people make so much money out of IVF and and it's yeah. well documented that women and go to IVF the before they've had adopting. all the t because really of the money that's baby, made out of it all those children that haven't got homes that need adopting and where is the respect for life where is nature in this where is God in this okay, where Linda, is okay, can I just say I totally take on your point about adoption but I for example have a friend who is um, pregnant right now after 10 years of trying every avenue including adoption with a husband in a loving, committed marriage. Um, and, and adoption just wasn't an option to them. It would have taken too long, and they deemed their age inappropriate. Um, so they have had to travel abroad, and they are finally having a baby. And, and they have had to work outside of the UK. And I think it's wonderful that science has yeah. enabled a couple that desperately want a family and would have taken another child yeah. and afforded them that chance. I think it's dangerous to talk about individual cases, because actually, individual cases, there's a case... For, for each everybody. individual couple. To, it's a bit like the other end of the spectrum with death. You know, now, you, well, go and buy a syringe and kill your granny, basically. You know, well, you know, oh, she's not very well and she doesn't really want to live well, anymore. They, There's they a whole area there. The point is, money should not... I just... Of course, it should be monitored, of course, but to have... To just open it up into the marketplace, oh, I think I'll go and buy a baby exactly. it, it, no, or a de an egg. I, I find it morally Well, there's wrong. a reason that it's illegal in this country, and that is because um, people shouldn't profit. That's, the, you know, yes. that's what we as, as a society deem as, as, as acceptable, is that there should, it should be non-profit making. But if you want to help a couple mm -hmm. yes. and you have to take but time off of work and, and you're Kate, being... Kate, Kate, people, but a lot of people make a lot of money out of IVF, doing private IVF. That's the same thing, well, isn't it? They're mean. making profit out of it. Yeah. Nobody's doing it at cost price. 
You know, maybe apart from the NHS, that's it. It is business. It's a big well, business and it's getting out of control. I know yeah. you can't leave everything to nature. Um, you know, because we have the power, we can do it. But once money is involved, especially the sums, you know, you're talking, these are thousands and thousands of pounds. Don't forget about the fact as well that not everybody can afford to pay for it. So, you know, there's an Absolutely. inequality so if, there. if you work it on an even playing field and say, OK, if you do want to enter into this as an arrangement, then the, the person donating it, is, is doing exactly that. It's a donation. And you're covering their expenses. You're not lining their pockets. I think karmically, that, that, that puts you in a much better place as well. Would you, would you not also, agree? You see, I always think, if you've seen a couple who have been trying for a baby mm. for such a long time, and then the gift of life comes along, it's priceless. And that's, our, that's my take on it. Well, let's know what you think. Remember...